Hello everyone, welcome to Mini Mozarts at Home Beginner Piano Lessons. These lessons are ideal for children around five years of age or older, but the older beginner can also start learning out of these books. Uh, we're going to be working out of the Faber Piano Adventures Primer Series. So here we have our lesson book, our technique book, and then our theory book. You can buy these at your local music store or you can also order them off of Amazon. So if you open up to page four in your lesson book, you're going to see how to sit at the piano. And then we're also going to talk about our rounded hand shape in the second page. So our first page, it says to check the distance. When you are first beginning, you want to make sure that you're the proper distance away from the keys. So we have our karate check. We're going to position our bodies so when we are sitting at the piano, our back is nice and straight, our shoulders are relaxed, and if we make two fists like this, our fists are going to just gently graze the fallboard. If you have a keyboard, not a piano, then your um, the front of your fist, your knuckles, are going to just be in line with the top of the keys. If your legs are really short, you also might want a stool at your feet as well. So you can set your feet on there so you have a nice base for yourself. And then you're going to do a check. Is your back straight? Shoulders relaxed? So to check, you can lift up your shoulders and then make sure you relax them, wiggle them out. And then can you take a deep breath easily? So we don't want to sit like this at the piano with our back rounded. We don't want to be too far away reaching. We also don't want to be too close. So we all, until we're used to it, we always want to check and make sure that we're the proper distance away from the keys. Once we've established how to sit at the piano, we're going to have a look at our hands now. What do you notice about your fingers? When you put your fingers together, they're not all the same length, right? Our thumb is much uh, shorter than the rest of our fingers and then our pinky and so on. So in order to make it so we can play the piano, because if I just played with my fingertips here with straight fingers, my pinky and my thumb are going to have a really hard time reaching and then we have to end up tweaking the wrist, which we don't want. So we want a nice C relaxed curve or almost like a paw. You can pretend it's like a little dog paw. We want our hand together. You can put your hands on your lap and then slowly raise them up and you'll notice that your hand naturally wants to be in this curved position anyway. We're going to do a little hand warm up now. So when I sing open, you're going to open your hand, but you're just going to let it uh, be a relaxed. We're not going to spread our fingers, just a nice relaxed open. Then we're going to close and open. Let's begin. Okay. One, two, ready, start. Open. exercise we're going to do today is we're going to raise our hands up like this and we're going to pretend that we have drops of water and that we're trying to shake off those drops of water on our off our fingertips so that promotes a nice loose relaxed wrist and again that natural hand curve we're going to hop into the technique book next and on page four we have the five piano technique secrets we've already sort of learned about some of them with our lesson book but we're going to elaborate and practice those a little bit more because they're really good to get a good handle on our first one is karate pose so that's our good posture that we already talked about relaxed shoulders nice straight back we're going to sit on the front half of our bench and we're going to stretch our arms out now i'm the proper distance away from the keys because my arm is straight and my knuckles are just grazing the fallboard. Again, if you have a keyboard, not a piano, and you don't have that fallboard, just make sure that your knuckles line up with the front or the top of the keys. Okay, the next thing we have is blooming flower. So this was our open close exercise as well. We're going to make a fist and then we're going to gently slow motion, let our hands open into that nice relaxed C curve hand position. Number three is making O's. We're going to use our thumb and our other fingers and we're going to connect. So we want to make sure we're making an O. We're not making a squished um, sort of shape here. We want to make a nice O with the pads of our fingers. So we're going to go between fingers. Our thumb is finger one. We'll learn that in next lesson. And then this one is finger two. So we're going to go between one and two, one and three, one and four, 
one and five, and then we're gonna make our way back one and four, one and three, one and two. Okay, always between thumb, number one, and your other fingers, starting at the beginning and then going through. So we don't wanna do it super fast. We just wanna make sure we're doing a nice, gentle pressure through the fingertips to get that feeling that that is what we play on. We play on our fingertips. Okay, our fourth technique secret is called heavy wet ropes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let our arms dangle by our sides as if we had these heavy wet ropes and then we're gonna slowly lift them up so we can feel the weight of our arms and then let them drop completely on our lap. And we're gonna do that a couple times. So that promotes again, our nice relaxed shoulders. We don't ever want our shoulders creeping up to our ears. And that also promotes um, the use of our arm weight. Cause when we talk about dynamics, it's not so much in the wrist as it is with putting more weight through our arms. So we'll talk about that when we get there as well. And then finally is our thumb perch. So this is where we'll sort of be on the keys but I'll show you up here and then I'll show you um, on the keys a little closer. So when we have our um, hand in our nice curve position on the keys, our thumb is not actually playing on the fingertip. Our thumb is gonna be playing on the side because if we played on the fingertip, it would give a, a really strange shape here. So we actually just perch our thumb. So if this was the keys, we're just gonna perch our thumb, the side of our thumb onto the keys and that's how we play. See how all my other fingers are curved but my thumb is playing on this part, on the side. So that's our thumb perch. We wanna make sure that our, our thumb is perched um, on its side, not on the nail, but just on sort of the side of the pad. And then what we want to make sure we're not doing is sagging our wrist. So I call it sinking the wrist below the keys. We never wanna do any of our, cause that's gonna really limit our finger mobility. So we never wanna um, have our wrists like this. We want a nice straight parallel to the floor forearm or a straight forearm, and then our fingers will gently rest on the keys. All right, my friends, so that is the end of lesson one. What I want you to do is make sure you're really comfortable with all these technique secrets, how to sit, how to um, curve your hands, and then when you feel ready, come back and do lesson two. See you next time.